the influenza virus is different than a bacteria. The virus can spread typically from October through March. There can be an A strain, a B strain, um, and then each of those strains have additional subtypes. And based on the year, the vaccine is made from the most prevalent virus subtypes that are circulating from the year previous. So making the vaccine is, is using the best information and, and technology they have at the time. Sometimes they're straight on with, with a, a good match with vaccinations and sometimes they're not. But any vaccination with, for the flu, for influenza, uh, provides some level of protection for the public. We are constantly vigilant across the state of you know, trying to monitor what's going on as far as the number of people that are sick with influenza and just kind of looking at what can be done, including vaccination and other treatment regimens and basic common sense prevention steps like don't go to work when you're sick, wash your hands, cover your coughs, cover your sneezes. In a pandemic influenza response, people would be told to stay home. So don't go out and congregate, you know, maybe not go to church, maybe not go to the mall, those kind of things. Um, because the more you stay within your enclosed environment, the less risk there is to you to being infected from, from a sick individual. As far as family members at risk or a greater risk for influenza and other types of diseases, anyone that has an ongoing condition uh, that suppresses their immune system, like a cancer patient or someone uh, that is uh, seriously ill, those kind of indi individuals could be more at risk. The very young and the very old are the kind of the, the ones that you think about. In any emergency, a family needs to be able to take care of themselves for at least three days or 72 hours. Because at, at times it, it could take first responders and other folks that period of time to get to you. So having some sense of, of personal preparedness is really key. There's some kind of basic things that you can do to prepare your family that'll help you more than just for influenza. It could help you for any type of a large disaster. There's a lot of uh, different resources on the internet, including ready.gov uh, through FEMA, through the Federal Emergency Management Agency, that can give individuals a listing of the, the things that they should have at home. And every family should kind of evaluate what they need, having some water and extra food, maybe some canned foods, having things to start a fire if you had to, a weather radio, flashlights, some type of face shield or face mask. As far as if you're needing additional information on what you can do for your family, more information on influenza, you can go to the CDC's website, just cdc.gov, and you can, you can look for more flu information. And there's also another website, just flu.gov, and that'll give you everything you would ever need on flu. So treatments, vaccinations, places where you can go for more information. It's kind of a one-stop repository of information. But the big things are, are making sure that your family has a emergency plan. You know how to reach each other. Um, and in an influenza pandemic, things may not be as normal. So businesses may not be open. Some stores may not be open, things like that. So you have to do things to uh, prepare your family, such as just being able to maintain your normal daily living.